welcome to KO tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the modeling of this modular kitchen over here so let's continue it so we'll be modeling some of the assets over here now so I'll go into this let's convert to poly I'll take a swift loop over here so let's add one swift loop so let's select this edges slightly just push it behind <coughs> over here let's select the vertices shuffle it over here select the polygons and let's give a bit of extrude over here so i can slightly just shuffle it a bit inside again let's put some loops over here in this way let's take an auto grid over here let's create a box over here in this way so let's go to the top view again take an auto grid just drag it in this way let's increase its height a bit let's again go to the top view and increase its width drag it inside convert to poly let's use a swift loop over here one over here select this polygons and let's give extrude push it a bit down select the vertices let's take a cylinder so before that let's put some swift loop let's select this edges drag it a bit out so let's take a cylinder So I can slightly rotate it. In this way. And slightly reduce the height segments and height over here. So convert to editable poly, select the polygons, slightly extrude it, select this edges, let's uh, give ring, select the polygons, so once it is done, over here, now I'll take a line over here I'll off this auto grid so just drag it till here enable in viewport 
and reduce its thickness push it up now let's again take a box so let's take a box so i can just increase its size over here convert to poly in this way drag it a bit inside so push it inside and let's end isolate this so i can slightly uh, push this a bit up over here in this way so i'll just save the file once again in this way now let's take a box so just drag this up just push it up convert to poly drag this shuffle this a bit out now select the polygons select this edges and let's give two connect over here in this way select this slightly extrude it so before we do this uh, i'll just go over here and i can slightly scale it if required now select the polygons and slightly extrude it a bit down in this way so i can slide scale it from the sides so if you want what i'll do is uh, this is too out i can just shuffle it in this way i'll just shuffle it in this way similarly over here as well we can just select the vertices and i'll shuffle it in this way and scale it shuffle it inside 
so extrude it down select the vertices push it inside in this way so we can definitely create this on to the top so again i'll go over here again select this and again extrude it down and isolate drag it up again extrude it down in this way so select the vertices slightly just push this up so let's again take a swift loop and let's add some swift loop over here select this extrude it a bit inside in this way so if you want what i can do is i can select all this faces and extruded by local normal and isolate so definitely we need to create the door kind of stuff over here which will be coming out so let's go to the top let's take a cylinder just increase its height a bit convert to poly select the vertices again select this polygons and let's give extrude by local normal let's duplicate it over here and let's take one more copy so select this press shift and drag and make a copy of it all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet so long way to go there are lot of things to be done in this tutorial so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial